Okay, so this woman who wrote this song, she's the killer. 100%. Because she... MC and GB, George Barrows, thank y'all for making our song yours. Well... Hmm. I don't know, but I guess we can look at this map now. Um, yeah, it looks like it's the same map. So if we try to figure out where all this happens, um, like, does it show the reserv reservoir and stuff on here? It's covered up. Okay, so there's the jazz studio. There are some trees around it. Okay, and that's... Okay, the reservoir is down there next to the jazz studio. Gallows Creek's train station runs down that way as well. Okay. Yeah, there is no, there is no trees down by the reservoir. There's trees there, trees there, trees there. There's a ravine up there. Nothing down there. Bottom left. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Who could he have been running from? From Jazz Hands? Is Jazz Hands really going to be the one that got him? No. No way, Jazz Hands. Maybe. Could. Okay. So we're going to turn off that one song because I don't trust it. Something about this has... Here's to MC and GB. So GB is definitely George Barrows. Thank y'all for making our song yours. I wish I could read what that said, that signature. Obviously, it's whoever wrote this song. Okay. So I think maybe MC is the murderer. Like, they weren't, they got into a fight or something with GB. And they chased him and murdered him, and then they moved him and dropped him in the reservoir. That is my only guess to go on right now. So let's see. Oh, wait, what, what happened? What was the question? I don't know what the question was. It's our job. This is our job, Peggy. We, we got to do it. Oh, you're right. So what's the plan now? I think we should call Virginia back. True. All right. I'll get her on the line. True. Hello again, Gallows Creek. This is Forrest Nash. We're circling closer to the truth behind When is he going to do the scream? To this end, we're calling back one of our earlier callers, Virginia Sullivan. She's not going to answer. Fretman Plunker here. Oh, yeah, Who's the frat this? boys. Is it you? Goose. No, it's Forrest. Plunker, hey, it's the radio man, Forrest Nash. The radio, radio man. man. The radio What's man. Up? Solving mysteries, saving lives. The huge. Right, 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 right. The huge. Plunker, what are you doing at Virginia's house? She asked if we could stay to keep an eye out for that whistling turd. So we're hanging out, bro. <laughs> well, that's uh, that's big of you, Plunker. No, <laughs> it's nothing. Oh my God. <laughs> Can I speak to Virginia? Sure thing, radio man. I'll just go get her. Who is this? Hey, Virginia, it's Forrest. I'm I'm glad you're still okay. Oh, Forrest. Sorry, I'm still jumpy. Okay, um... Do I just go straight forward or do I ease her into it? Uh... I'd be jumpy, too. I can't blame you. I'd be jumpy, too. I'm so sorry this happened to you, Virginia. I thought I was. I thought... <sighs> Easy. We're not calling to talk about earlier. We're calling because we think you can help us understand why this is happening tonight. Me? What would I know? Mmm... Ooh. She might get defensive if I just throw straight, throw out Clive straight out. Well, can you think of any reason why 
You'd have been targeted? No, I don't think so. Virginia, don't lie. All right. When you were attacked earlier, you mentioned a name. Clive. I don't know what I said then. I was petrified, Forrest. Clive's the janitor at our station, and we know you spoke to him in the past. Forrest, please. You don't know what you're doing. He'll come for me. He's already Virginia, come for you. It's okay. Clive won't be coming after you. We think Clive's dead. Dead? But isn't he? He's the whistling man, Forrest. Um, we have evidence. Why so certain? We thought so too. Yeah, why so certain? How would she know? Why are you so certain Clive's the whistling man? Because he. All those years ago, he. It's okay, Virginia. He's gone. We found evidence to suggest he. Well. And we found your autopsy reports for Here George we go. Barrow. The juicy How? stuff. I saw him destroy them. Well, he didn't. I don't know if he kept them or made copies or what, but we found them. And we know it's related to what's happening tonight, which is why we called you. Why did you write a false report? I. All right. One day. Here we go. I came into work to find a. Popcorn. A boy on my slab. Yes. And as I finished the autopsy, this man, Clive, he just burst in and he started making demands to give over the reports, to falsify what I found. Of course I said no, but, well, when someone wants to make you do something, they can use the carrot or the stick. Ooh. For me, he used both. Yikes. You see, my sister is sick. She has a chronic condition that's never going away. It's expensive to treat, and it was getting to where I couldn't afford it. And Clive promised me that his employer would pay for my sister's treatment if I did what he said. And that if I ever spoke about this, he'd beat me to within an inch of my life. Ooh. I don't know why he had me do it, but my sister needed me. You have to understand, she needed me. We understand. Ooh, speak for yourself, Peggy. It's okay. I mean, desperate situation, tough call. Uh, I don't know if I necessarily agree with it, but... Thank you, Virginia. That was brave. God, I just want this nightmare to end. This will help end it, Virginia. Thank you. Stay safe, Virginia. I mean, that wasn't a whole lot of information. Am I supposed to put a so, song on? Virginia is tied up in all of this. Clive threatened her to keep quiet about George's death. But for who? Why cover up these details? Well, we know Sandra was involved in George's death. Do you want to call her? Yes. I do. All right. But before we go asking questions, I think we should know what we want to ask. Is that fair? Yeah. True. We need to ask her about finding the body. She was the one who discovered it, but something just doesn't add up. A hundred percent. She knows more than she's saying. Mm -hmm. I wonder what she's hiding. We'll hopefully find out soon. Anyway, just be careful when you're talking to her. Don't push too hard. We don't want her to hang up. Uh-oh. I'll be careful. Uh-oh, chat. Right. Calling her now. Hopefully she's at her jazz studio. Jazz studio. <laughs> All right. Aha. Forrest, you're through. Hello, this is Sandra at Jazz Pizzazz Jazz Studio. Jazz Pizzazz. Hello Heck again, yeah, dude. Sandra. It's Forrest Nash of 189.116 The, the Scream. And you're live on air. <laughs> oh, I always thought folks called into a radio show, not the other way around. How jazzy. What can I do for you? Uh, well, <laughs> <laughs> we're trying to understand what's behind the attacks tonight. We had a few questions. Why, Forrest, of course. Heck, after the way you saved my life, I'd say yes to just about anything you asked. Okay. Um. Oh, we're not going to say that. She'll be like, what? That sounds nice. Why were you targeted? 
Do you know why Welcome the Whistling Man Captain. might have targeted All systems you? Ha! As far as I can tell, he was just a knife-wielding psycho with superhuman cardio. He didn't chase after anybody. Right. Well, we think he might be chasing specific people. People who know about the death of a boy named George. Oh, I don't know anything about that. Sorry. Mm. Are you keeping secrets? You found the body. Don't play games. Are you keeping mm. secrets? Have you had to keep quiet about anything? Any secrets you've had to keep? What would I have to keep quiet about? I don't know. I mean, could be that you've seen something or heard something. I never saw anything. Hmm, Sandra. If I did, what would that matter? Can I call you Sandra? And it was years ago. Sandra, are you okay? It was years ago. We know, Sandra. You do? You know about? Uh, yes. Of course. <sighs> this studio is my life. After I found the body in the river, I couldn't lose my studio. Do you understand? Okay, so she found it in a river, not the reservoir. Sure, I understand. When the rent just kept going up, he said he'd stop if I just needed to keep quiet and everything would be okay. Who was he? Sandra, who was he? He was, he said, if I told everyone I found the kid in the reservoir instead of the river, he... He... Don't hang uh, up. Don't hang up. I'm sorry. I can't do this. No, don't hang up. Ah, Chad, she hung and up. she's gone. I don't think that could have gone any better. You truly did great, Forrest. Well, folks, if anyone out there has any thoughts on what's going on tonight, please call in. That's good timing. We've got a call waiting just this second. Uh-oh. Do I have to save someone now? Clive paid her off. It definitely sounds like it. Definitely sounds like it. Okay, so where's this river at? Okay, so the river's over here. We have a call waiting. Over at Whistling Point next to the sheriff's office. I assume that's a river, right? Or is there another river that I'm missing? Oh, there's little, little stuck. Oh, there's like little pins and stuff I could have been putting to like making it like official. Ah, shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Fine. Welcome to 189.16, The Scream. The Scream. your host, Forrest Nash. Hi, Boris. I know this is really <sighs> out of the blue with everything happening tonight. But I wondered if you could send this special birthday message to my uncle. Uh, sure. Maybe it'll be like code for something. You know what? I'd welcome a change of pace. I'd be glad to. Thank you, Boris. He's my uncle Ronnie. His first name's Peter, but he never liked his name. But since he always had salt and pepper hair, even as a kid, can you believe it? He does sound like Dracula. <laughs> always called him Pepper. Uh, thanks for the history lesson. Is there anything besides happy birthday you would like to say to Mr. Pepper? Oh my God, damn it! Yes! Tell yes! Her making the best birthday deals and party packages here at Pundy's Pizza. Yes! You Pundy's up Pizza. Stop calling us. <sighs> Sorry, Forrest. Let's just move on. We've already got another caller on the line. I love Ponty's Pizza, man. I want some real Ponty's Pizza. This is 189.16. Ah, that's amazing. The Scream. The Unforced Scream. Now. You're on the air, caller. <laughs> caller. <sighs> Are these the pranksters? Ponty. <laughs> Bonte's Pizza! Oh, I love it. <laughs> Forrest? Forrest? Holy moly. Are you okay? I love Bonte <gasps> so much. Forrest? 
I hope the whistling man gets in with his own pizza slicer. Jesus, Forrest. Oh my Sorry. goodness, Forrest. Sorry. That was that was too much. Bring it back. It's okay. Bring it it's back. Been a high stress night. Ponty is amazing. Anymore, okay. Stop it. Not for tonight, anyway. I think he's spent <sighs> for now. We've got another call. Whenever you're ready. All right, I'm ready. I am so ready. Okay. Folks, <sighs> don't spend your money at Ponty's Pizza. That's <laughs> please, please All be I'm Ponty. Say about that. Please be Ponty. Mm, moving along, I'd like to welcome another caller to 189.16 The Scream. The Scream. With me, Forrest Nash. Who may Lily, I say is welcome, uh, welcome, hello welcome. Hello again, Forrest. Good to Don. see ya. Don, we played your song, Long oh. Ride Home. Did you hear it? Can you tell us? Uh, never mind that now. First, I'm calling because I need your help. Oh. Okay, okay, so this is Dawn. That's her name. So this doesn't... Okay, so she must have been the one who wrote this. The barn finds on the ride home. So it's not Dawn. That's not the one that was like dating George Barrows. Okay. Um, are you in danger? Are you in danger? Oh, I sure am. Do you mean? Yes, he's after me oh, now. Oh snap! You? I think so. He must have heard me on the radio helping you. Helping? Yeah, you didn't help me. What? All you want to do is play the song. Helping? You didn't exactly help. Maybe I've been helping more than you know. I was out following a lead, trying to work out who would be next after Chuck. And what happened? And I started to feel like I was being followed. I came back to my apartment building, but this newfangled security system ah. has locked out. I need you to help me get inside. Okay. Um. Can you ask a neighbor? Can a neighbor let you in? Oh, I only moved in last week. I don't know anybody yet. There's not even a buzzer here, only the, the keypad for the entry code. Gotcha. I need that code to get inside. Well, let me go Which down in the basement. What do you live in? Maybe one of our listeners lives there, too. It's the new Woodside apartment building between the town hall and the trailer park. But I doubt any of your listeners live there. I don't have many neighbors. Sounds What's like happening in the background? Real estate. Right? The sound really carries at night. Shit. Not a dog person, a neighbor's dog, noisy part of town. <sighs> right. I know. Living next to train tracks is actually bananas. I had a, I had an apartment next to him once. Woo the middle of the night, they were so loud. Ooh. I'm guessing you're not a dog person. No, I'm not. It's my neighbor's dog. Boy, I wish he'd muscle that thing in. Oh. And now he's blasting David Scobo out of his window. Oh, yes. He's coming down the street. I don't think he's seen me yet. Force Look at the map. Okay. I need the code for that security system or I'm going to die. Security system's name. What's the name of the security system? Uh, there's a sticker on the box. It says Starling Security 4000. There's a keypad, and it looks like it wants a, a six digit number. Starling, huh? Starling Security 4000, huh? That's right. Very newly installed. I need the key code before the whistling man gets me. Yeah, of course. Don't worry, Don. Thank you, Forrest. I knew I could count on you. I'll sit out of sight. Call me back soon. Okay. All right, folks. Here's a little tune for you all oh, to oh, enjoy. Oh, oh, oh. While I get out of here. Dawn into her apartment. Let's put on the word. It's nice smooth. Enjoy Heck this yeah, introduce the song. Smooth. It's their hit song. The word. Oh, the bar, 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 but the part is the word. You were pretty quiet there, Peggy. Forrest, was it just me, or was there something? Yeah, it wasn't just you. Something was weird. 
about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, tell you what, we have a Starling 4000 or whatever here at KFAM. Clive bought one for the station. Maybe we can find something to help. Well, I'm not sure who, but to help someone. Help myself. I don't remember the crossroads that she said. <sighs> okay, so she's locked out of the Woodside Apartments and somewhere Woodside Clive Apartments probably has the papers for the Starling 4000. Woodside Apartments. Wusty. Test your might. Woodside Apartments. Says something about like town or something. Town Road. Is it Thornside Road, maybe? Oh, there was a train here. Okay, so I assume the yellow line is the train. No, that's a waste disposal. Oh, maybe it just runs to the waste disposal. Oh, maybe that one. Clark Road. So might be like these right here. I think it might be those because there's a train kind of next door or oh, maybe these these right here it's probably these e problem uh oh i stepped through my traps chat they're very efficient very efficient traps we'll fix those whenever we come back up let's go get trailer park and woodside apartments really Okay, we'll look at that whenever we get back up. I couldn't remember what she said. I thought she said like trailer road or something. Okay. Where were those codes at? In here, right? Yeah. Order delivery form. Starling must have left this by accident. The system's not even installed at Woodside. Oh. Interesting. Oh, it was delivered. Oh, so she's not trying to get into Woodside. She's trying to get into somewhere else. Interesting. Starling 4000, user manual. Ah, these codes should come in handy. So do we want to help her? Sounds like she's trying to bust into somewhere else. I don't know how I feel about this chat. I don't know how I feel. Let's go back up and look on the map. See where we can find. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. So, you think she's lying. Okay. Gotcha. 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 Because, yeah, she's got to be right next to a train track somewhere. And it would make sense. If she was now perfect, if she was by the train tracks, you all both just go on the floor for now. Let's turn you down because you're a little loud. Can I say that? Okay, so she was saying trailer park and Woodside Apartments. Is that what you said? Middle of the map. Yeah, right here. Radio station. Good, good point. So here's Roller's Ricky. Roller Ricky's, which has it. Um, the hospital has it. And hey fam. Right here by Mason. So she is probably trying to get into Roller Ricky's. Because Roller Ricky has it installed, right? So it's got to be St. Gabriel's Hospital, Christine's Gas, or Roller Ricky's. Yeah, she's not here. Roller Ricky's, St. Gabriel Hospital. Could be either or those, but Roller Ricky's probably close enough for the train. And then what did I say the other one was? 
Oh, Christine's gas station. That's pretty close to the thing, too. So they're all kind of right in this circle. So we'll have to see. We'll have to see where this goes. Welcome back, Forrest. Find anything? The Starling 4000 security manual. It's got a bunch of codes. Good. And did you find anything else? I saw a list of everyone else who bought the Starling 4000. Know who was on there? Oh my god. Roller Ricky! I... Do you yes, think let's call, call Roller Ricky! Is that crazy? I don't know what you'd say, but... That might be a good idea. Okay, one moment. I got the number here. Patching you through. Shit. He probably can't hear it over the music. Forrest, I don't know about this. This is super weird. Just put me through to Don. I'll take care of this one oh. way or another. Okay, if you say so. The music, blaring the ready, music out the windows. Mm-hmm, definitely Roller Ricky, for sure, for sure. Not letting her Line in one. there. Whenever you're ready. Not letting her in Don, there. Are you there? This is Forrest Nash from 189.16. The, the Scream. Oh, thank God you're back. I'm so afraid. What's the code to the gate? Did he have a dog? He might have. I don't remember that. What code should I give to Don? Give entry code, give alarm test activation code. Give maintenance code, give alarm deactivation code. Um, test code. There's a maintenance call code. This will set off all security measures. Yeah, the alarm test, alarm test deactivation, and the entry codes. So we should give the alarm test code. Um, not entry code, not alarm deactivation, not maintenance code. Alarm test activation code. The code is 191519. Thank you, Forrest. Okay, he shot at her. Yeah! It's my rink! It's my rink! I'm calling the cops! Thank God. Hello? Is someone there? Ricky, get back inside and turn on the radio. Whoever that was, she was trying to break into the ring. She? Forrest, man, you got no idea. That was him! That was the whistling man. The alarm gave me just enough time to get my rifle. What? I don't like hurting folk, but... I can't let anything happen to Maxie. He's my best friend, you know? I, Maxie is a dog. You're right, you're right. Inside. Gonna barricade that window. My man, thank you. You and Peggy can skate for free whenever you want, forever. Hey! I, thanks, Ricky. Can't wait. Got free it. skates. Talk to you soon. Okay, Gallows Creek. Here's the music survive. while we process what just happened. I mean, we're doing okay, but we've lost, we've lost quite a few people too. <laughs> Here, listen to more of the word, the bird, so bird, bird. The whistling man is a woman. Ooh. Um, I know I can't believe it. I had my suspicions. Yeah, I worked it out a while ago. I mean, I didn't really work it out a while ago, but. I mean, there's no real leads. She says her name is Dawn. There's no real leads. She called in twice, but wasn't like super sus. She just wanted a song played. <laughs> 